Hello everyone, Stephen Powell here with Lion of Light Ministries. I want to tell you about an encounter I had uh, on the morning of March 20th. Okay, so here real recently. Uh, I was dead asleep at midnight, okay, this night. And right when the clock turned over, okay, just past midnight. So right around 12.02, 12.03 uh, a.m., right when the calendar had just turned to March 20th, I had a dream, and in the dream, I saw the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus walked up to me, and he showed me his right hand, and I clearly saw seven stars in his right hand. He appeared to me as the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand. Now, this is a powerful revelation, and, and I've actually been encountering the Lord uh, in this way since the beginning of this year. Uh, just recently, the Lord revealed one of these stars, and he's been releasing one of these stars, one of these angels in our ministry uh, to go before us to remove demonic hindrances to the move of God and, and to help make our way prosperous. So the Bible says in Revelations 1 that Jesus himself uh, identifies these seven stars as seven angels, okay? The seven angels that are assigned to the seven churches. And in Judges chapter 5, the Bible talks about how the stars in their courses did war against Sisera and the Assyrian army as Barak and Deborah had a great victory for Israel that day on the battlefield. So in Scripture, stars are often uh, translated or, or, or symbolic for angels or angelic hosts. So I've been seeing the Lord hold the stars in his hand like an instrument of war, like a blunt instrument of war. And I've been seeking the, uh, or, excuse me, I've been seeing the Lord strike places, strike our enemies, and uh, even meetings. There's been meetings where the Lord's come down and struck the meeting, and there was a raw breakout of power, and it was like these angels were instruments in the Lord's hands for breakthrough. And we've seen breakthrough miracles. We've seen breakthrough meetings. We've seen uh, just so many breakthroughs in so many ways because now is a season of revival and the Lord is sending his angel before us to make our way prosperous, to remove demonic hindrances. So to me, uh, seeing the Lord approach me in this way in the dream, this was not unusual. This is the, this is the Lord I've been encountering since the beginning of this year. Um, but in this dream... The Lord spoke to me very, very clearly, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. And his voice was so loud and so powerful, it woke me up, okay? As I was in this dream, it woke me up. And right when I woke up, the clock had just uh, moved past midnight, and it had just become March 20th, 320. So 320, Revelation 320, March 20, something prophetic about that. But I went to uh, my scripture on my phone, okay, as I was laying in bed, and I read Revelation 3.20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and dine with him, and he with me. So I believe very, very simply, uh, the Lord uh, is putting out an invitation right now. I believe, you know, in my nation, America. I'm an American. I have a heart for America. I pray for America. I'm believing for revival in my nation. But wherever you're watching this, you should be praying for your nation as well. You should have that burden to pray for revival in your nation as well. But I felt an immediate burden for my nation. And the burden was this. The Lord Jesus himself is coming to my nation right now, and he is knocking at the door. And he's asking not just the church, but America and the American people, will you open the door and let me come in and dine with you and sup with you? And this is an invitation to revival. Okay, this is an invitation to see Jesus, to have the living Savior revealed to not only the church in this nation, but to the people, to all the people. But I feel like I felt like the Lord said that when he comes and he knocks, it can go one of two ways. You can open the door to him and he can come in and dine with you and you can have revival. You can have the Lord come in in a moment, at a time in history, in a season of revival, and he can heal your land. He can revive the people of that nation. Or 
he can come as 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 he comes in James chapter 5 when it says the judge stands at the door. Okay, he can also be the judge and I just felt such a holy fear come on me in this moment. Okay? And when I felt the fear of the Lord, I saw another scripture that was that was written. I just saw it in my spirit and it was Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 23. All right, so once again, even a play on dates there, 3, 23, March 23, 30, 23. Jeremiah 30, verse 23 through 24 says, Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord <clears throat> goes forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It will fall violently on the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of the Lord will not return until he has done it, until he has performed the intents of his heart, in the last days, you will consider it. Okay? And immediately I thought of Hosea 8, 7, where it says, when you sow to the wind, you're going to reap of the whirlwind. So I believe right now that we're in the middle of a perfect storm. We're in the middle of a perfect whirlwind that is manifesting politically, economically. There's banks that are failing. There's a former U.S. president that you know, is, is, is they're threatening to arrest him. There's crazy, chaotic, demonic stuff that has been unleashed on our nation, but it is because we as a nation have sown to the wind. We have spat in the face of an almighty God, and we have dared to tell him that he would not keep his word, that he did not mean what he said in his word, okay, that there are consequences for sin, <laughs> that if you sow to the flesh, you're going to reap destruction and death, okay? We've spat in the face of that God as a nation, and still, even though we've done that, he is offering us mercy still. But we have to take advantage of the opportunity right now. And I believe this Jesus Revolution movie is going out. It's grossed more than any other film in the Lion Gate Studios since 2019. It's going out. People are watching it. There's clearly people that are responding there's revivals that are breaking out, the Asbury Revival, so many other revivals on college campuses. Clearly, the invitation is going out, saints. <clears throat> and I feel such a burden in my heart that we must, not only as the church, but as a nation, respond to the Lord as he knocks at the door. That we have a responsibility and a burden right now in this window of time to respond to him and invite him in in his mercy. Because if we as a nation do not open the door and invite him in as the healer, as the reviver, he will open the door himself, but he will come in as the judge and there'll be a whole new level of this whirlwind release. That's what I feel the Lord is saying uh, through this encounter. All right, so I ask you to prayerfully consider this. I ask you to continue to pray for America as well as your nation, wherever you're watching this from around the world. And let's respond to the Lord. Amen. Let's invite him in. Let's open that door. Let's respond to the knock at the door and say, Lord, come and revive us. Come and heal our land. God bless you.